This is how you make a multiplication and division wheel. Begin by downloading the template from the school website. You will need a pair of scissors and a split pin to make the wheel. 1. Cut out the jacket and the wheel. 2. Fold the jacket along the dotted line. 3. Push a split pin through the dots that mark the centre point for the jacket and the wheel. Ensure that the wheel spins. 4. Decide which number fact you need to practice. I need to practice multiply by 4 and divide by 4. So I'm going to record 4 multiplied by 4. And on the back will be divide by 4. Each set of facts will need to have a new jacket and wheel. 5. Write the numbers to complete the pairs of multiplication and division facts. I suggest recording the numbers for the multiplication facts in a random order. 6. 4 sixes are 24. 24, how many 4s is 6? Ten. Four tens are forty. Forty, how many fours is ten? Nine. Four nines are thirty six. Thirty six, how many fours is nine? I continue until I have recorded all of the numbers from one to ten. Now I have recorded pairs of multiplication and division facts for each number from one to ten. I'm ready to practice. Please note that multiplication facts are read from bottom to top. So let's begin. Four eighths are 32. And my answer is here to check. 32, how many fours are eight? And my answer is here. Four sixes are 24. And my answer is here. 24, how many fours is 6? And my answer is here. 4 tens are 40. And my answer is here. 40, how many fours? And the answer is 10. And my answer was here. And so I can continue. The multiplication and division wheel allow students to practice these basic facts together, multiplication and division at the same time in order to build automaticity. The benefit of the multiplication and division wheel is that it is also self-correcting. So when the student answers this multiplication fact problem, four nines, which is 36, they can check by turning over the jacket to see that they were correct and it's 36. They can then do the division problem. 36 how many fours with the answer being 9. Again by turning over the jacket the students can see that they were correct because the answer is written here.